brain. Hi, my name is Ann Dolman and I'm an educator at Sir John A. Macdonald Secondary School in Waterloo, Ontario. So in my participation in this PLP project, um, I've come to video, which is uh, returning for me because I used to work in video and film before I became a teacher. And uh, in coming back, I have this working thesis that I also have to test myself to. My working thesis is that we as teachers need to capture more of our thinking and doing in things like video that are easy to share without getting lost in all the trappings of video and film. So without getting worried about what we look like as much or um, making sure that it looks perfect, that we just need to show the messiness of our practice so that others can feel comfortable with what that messiness looks like. So I'm going to touch a couple things and then try and pull it all together. Um, I'm a bit of a Marshall McLuhan person in that the medium is the message and I think that has stopped me sometimes in using video in my own practice because I'm so worried about the medium. I'm so worried about the transitions, the sound, the music, the audio and having everything as perfect as can be that I've actually stopped communicating my message. So I think knowing that there is that phrase, the medium is the message, is to sort of pause for a second and reflect, okay, but why and what am I trying to accomplish and how is my own uh, inhibitions getting in the way of that. So I'm really saying try to find simple ways to communicate. In that, two minutes is a great amount of time. Five minutes is actually like a feature film in, in, in my world, given the equipment that we're using at school, given our time resources, given all the problems that can happen. And I've had problems again in the last week. I'm like, oh, I can't figure it out. So two minutes is good. Um, you need zen-like patience. You need to know that things will always happen. You have a backup to a backup to backup, and that's just fine. And I think we also need to become comfortable with being more public and understanding what the public um, brand is that we're making as our own personal teacher. And, and Twitter and Facebook and all those help us become more comfortable with a, a video presence online. And the, frankly, I think video is a really great way for teachers to break out of their pockets of innovation and share ideas because in two minutes you can give someone a sense of what you're trying to accomplish. They're able to grasp that sense and then, and then move forward. So if we can't be face-to-face -face because of our working conditions, what we can do is be capturing our thinking and ideas video pro in a video way and posting that online. Be as messy as it is, that's the purpose. Okay, have a great day.